Last October 15, DxO Viewpoint 5 was released. In case you're not familiar, this tool is used to fix all types of optical distortion, such as that from lens, perspective, and others. But you might be asking, can tools like Affinity Photo already do that? What's the difference? If you have that question, which I had as well, since this is also my first time looking at Viewpoint, then stick around as we're going to run through five reasons to use DxO Viewpoint 5 over standard distortion correction tools. The first reason is more effective corrections. To understand this, let's correct the distortion in this raw image. As is typical in any wide angle lens, this image exhibits a type of distortion which makes straight lines appear curved. Let's correct it. I'll drag the distortion slider. Next, I'll fix the perspective distortion which is making the buildings appear slanted with vertical lines converging. I'll drag the vertical slider. There you go, a good result. However, as you can see, the corrections have introduced some gaps which need to be cropped out. Let's do that. There, a much better image. That being said, I'm seeing the proportion of some of the objects slightly off. For example, the bus is looking a bit wider than it should be. But let's leave this edit for now. Next, let's try the same process with DxO Viewpoint 5. By the way, do note you also have full access to Viewpoint 5 tools from Photolab 8's geometry panel. For this demo, I'll be using Photolab 8 instead of using the standalone Viewpoint 5 app. Why you might ask? Well, it's because aside from providing a better browsing experience, Photolab 8 also works with RAW. I can make the distortion corrections directly on a RAW file, which makes for a much simpler workflow. For whatever reason, the Viewpoint standalone app only works with JPEG. So let's perform the corrections with Viewpoint 5 under Photolab 8. Under the Geometry panel, I'll enable distortion. With just one click, the distortion is fixed. If you prefer, you can also adjust this manually. Next, let's correct the perspective distortion, which is making the buildings look slanted. I'll enable perspective. Once again, with just one click, the problem is fixed. I'll remove the image gaps by setting the crop correction to auto. There, the blank spaces are removed. Here is the original image. Here is the distortion corrected image with Affinity Photo. And here is the distortion corrected image with DxO Photolab 8 and Viewpoint. As you can see, not only is the workflow a lot simpler with DxO, the proportions of the images also look more natural compared to Affinity's edit. You don't have the wide looking school bus. The second reason is fish eye correction. If you've ever shot with an ultra wide or fish eye and wanted to fix the distortion, DxO Viewpoint 5 can correct those types of distortions better than standard tools. To demonstrate, let's work with this image. Because of the extremely short focal length, the building is looking curved. Let's perform the correction with Affinity Photo. A pretty good result, although if you've noticed, even after setting the slider to maximum, the lines are still not perfectly straight. Let's perform the same correction with viewpoint. I'll switch the distortion type to fish eye. And by moving the slider, you can see DxO can get the line straight and even go beyond the straight line if necessary. That's incredible range. The third reason is the ability to correct volume deformation. Volume deformation is caused by wide angle lenses where subjects appear a bit too wide along the edges of the image. As far as I know, distortion correction tools commonly found in raw editors don't have a specific tool for volume deformation correction. To demonstrate, let's look at a few examples. In this image, the figurines located at the edges look unnaturally wider than the center due to volume deformation. To fix this, I'll simply enable the option. From the type, I'll choose horizontal slash vertical. And just like that, the problem is solved. 
Here is another example. The fourth reason is the ability to do local volume deformation correction. The ability to correct volume deformation locally is a new feature in Viewpoint 5. The key to this capability is a technology called Reshape Fusion. To demonstrate, let's work on this raw image. As you can see, the lady on the corner is looking a bit too wide due to volume deformation. Let's try to correct it. There, that's looking better for her. But on the other hand, the rest of the persons are now looking a bit too narrow. Is there a way to limit the effect to just that particular lady? Why, yes, you can. To do that, I'll enable Reshape Fusion. I'll click on the Grid button. I'll select a fine grid. I'll select the specific grid points I want to target, and I'll do that by dragging over it. With the Volume Deformation option enabled, I'll increase the horizontal slider. And just like that, the correction is applied just to the lady. Pretty incredible. As you can see, it works great. But just in case it's not working for you for whatever reason, do note that Reshape Fusion also gives you the ability to drag individual points to warp your subject in any way that you want. But that will take a lot more time and effort. The fifth reason is the ability to do local transformations. This feature is also new to DxO Viewpoint 5, and to my mind, this is the most jaw-dropping capability of this tool, as it has applications not just for distortion correction, but for creative output, similar to what you can do with Photoshop. To demonstrate, let's work with this image. Let us say we want the doorway and the person to be more emphasized and appear larger in the scene. If using standard photo editing tools like Affinity Photo or Pixelmator Pro, the solution would likely be pretty complex, if it can be done at all. Well, with Viewpoint 5, this problem can be solved in just a few steps. To demonstrate, I'll enable Reshape Fusion. I'll click on the Grid button. I'll choose a fine grid. I'll select the points covering the doorway. With the free transform mode selected, I'll click Scale. As you can see, a rectangle appears over the selection. I'll move the handle to scale the selection. And just like that, the selected area is scaled, and it's looking pretty convincing. But that's not all. Not only can you scale, you can also rotate. And even move it. In fact, let's move our selection as the scaling has introduced an angle to the wall. I'll choose the Move option. I'll drag the doorway to the correct position. And there you go, a much more seamless edit with just a few clicks. So there you have it, five reasons to use the new DxO Viewpoint 5 tool to fix tough distortion. I think it's fair to say that Viewpoint 5, while pricey at $99, is a class on its own and can solve problems I don't think any other tool can. On the other hand, there might be some other similar tool which I'm just not aware of. Let me know in the comments if you know of any other similar tool. Also, let me know what you think of this release. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.